This is a demo of RPS alignment using a point cloud and constructed features. First, I uh, have a CAD model prepared with, with datum target and a point cloud and extracted the, uh, the features. So the analysis tab auto align, which is off-flight auto align, will lock to those with the locked constraint. Accept that. to the datum target. You can see small deviation. Here. 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 extracted these points out of this cloud and I'll explain how I did that. So the, the datum targets came from the model. I just picked the points and created targets. I set the target to the locks needed. Plot just to the y-axis, target just to the z. And I created a WCS so I knew what direction I'm locking to this model. So that's the model preparation. Now the cloud um, currently has an alignment, so I'll remove that. Okay, so when I import the cloud, it doesn't have the features I need. So the first thing I need to do is extract those. So I'm going to go ahead and use our Edit Cloud tool and select these uh, boundary points here and fit a circle. That's a 3D circle. So make sure that's set to 3D, otherwise you won't see it. Then come down to this side. Do the same thing. So I'm just going to do a five-point slot. Get a good slot. Oh, and then I need a couple target points here. So first, I'm, I want to get those... Um, center point up here and we'll go ahead and make them the same name as the target for clarity and if they're the same names it'll it'll match it and then I need to construct measured points here I can just do this and this anywhere near the target it'll lock to the surface and to the surface target I didn't fail to mention that. Um, and then this is um, target one. Target two. That's how I created those targets. Yeah, then I did uh, auto line. Cut out. Okay. The the other thing I did that I haven't showed you is, is how to create a WCS um, in CAD. So the WCS here I created a part access WCS. Delete all those. By default, these come with the system. And uh, the, the reason I went created WCS because this part's on an angle. I didn't want to, this is the Z direction. I didn't want to lock the plane in this direction and then the slot in this direction because then you couldn't do a proper fit. So you need a WCS to control the direction. So the way I did that was I used the Veriserve create tool, created WCS with a plane axis origin. So I just picked this plane for orientation. That says pick the x-axis. I picked the center of this circle. You get it T for the center. Center of this one. And then this is the origin. And there's the axis. You can flip it. You can name it. Part axis. So you can 
flip it if you need to, but it's good. That created a um, active WCS. So you don't have to move the part. You can just create a row, uh, local system for reporting or for aligning. Uh, that's how I set this up.